Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchage here with your outlook for July 7th, 2017. Little programming note before we get started. I uh, just want to let you know that this will be the final uh, daily forecast video until the 17th of July. I will be off on vacation for a little over a week and will not be available to do the daily videos. But we'll st we will still have the, uh, the, the re local seven-day forecast, the regional forecasts that will be updated on the website. I uh, will not have the video on the video forecaster. We'll be out of the area. So just want to let you know that first before we continue. Going in today, we have area low pressure that moved along your warm front that's going to be moving away. So we will have some morning showers to contend with. I do think most of this activity ends by about noon or thereabout. And then we're going to have decreasing clouds in the afternoon. You have some clearing in the middle. So we'll go to partly cloudy skies this afternoon and very warm because we have a cold front that's situated off to the north here. And that cold front is going to be uh, moving slowly southeastward. There could be some late-day thunderstorms also um, that uh, if you get enough su substantial heating in between here, which I do think you could get. And I'm not talking about 90s today, but we are talking about mid-80s, mid-upper 80s in some places uh, with that clearing, with those areas of, of clearing. Now, we'll be cooler in the morning with those showers, but uh, the global models are not too thrilled with the afternoon convection. It actually keeps it further north in the north-central PA, but we go over to the... NAM high res future simulated radar. I'm going to start this off at 6 a.m. This is showing where all the showers will be or thereabout. Uh, these showers will be lingering again through uh, through the morning hours. Here's a look at 9 a.m. And then we get to about noon. This starts to pull away except for New Jersey. It might be an early afternoon exit there. Once this exits, though, uh, in between, you're going to have partly cloudy skies and clearing coming in here. So that's where the temperature is going to go up again. Cooler this morning, upper 60s, lower 70s. Uh, with the clouds and the uh, the rain around, but once that excess the sun comes out, this the temperature is going to go up pretty quickly. Now here's what I was talking about. Later in the afternoon and evening, we have a line of storms that's going to start initiating according to this model. This is the NAM High Res Feature Simulated Radar. Starting us off at uh, six or excuse me, uh, four p.m. We have a line initiating here in north central PA that's going to move its way east southeastward, and it does get pretty robust here as we get to the evening hour. This is now looking at seven p.m. coming across the Poconos and maybe to the Lehigh Valley here by eight, but then after that it looks like it's going to fall apart. So uh, might get as far east as the uh, the Delaware River here, but we'll have to wait to see how that uh, happens. And we'll, of course, send any alerts that are needed for this line of storms if it does, in fact, occur. Uh, could be some gusty winds with that and locally heavy rainfall, frequent lightning kind of, kind of thing uh, as that moves through. That's going to be ahead of the cold front. This cold front is going to come through early Saturday morning, so we're going to allow for an, a very early shower on Saturday here, and maybe maybe even a thunderstorm, but that's going to be early in the morning. So Saturday's going to start off kind of like the same way that, that uh, today will, just not as much coverage of rainfall, uh, but plenty of clouds. And then in the afternoon, you're going to have a much better uh, situation where this clears out once the front clears. And behind it, uh, we have uh, cooler air coming in here, a little trough settling in here behind this frontal boundary. And you'll have that means you'll have uh, temperatures go down on Sunday, but the humidity will do be the biggest noticeable factor will be definitely lower on Sunday and again Monday for that matter uh, as high pressure moves in so high pressure moves in behind it so we have mostly sunny here on Sunday uh, mostly sunny again on Monday as well uh, Tuesday we're going to allow for a late day thunderstorm but this is going to be very isolated favoring our interior locations another cold front pushing off uh, from this from the uh, northwest Great Lakes region this is going to reinforce some of the cooler air that's going to come through here on Wednesday. Here's the cold front Wednesday with those scattered showers and thunderstorms expected along that frontal boundary. And then that might even linger to early Thursday, which is shown right here, uh, before it pushes off to the south. And uh, to, again, the humidity is going to lower behind this. And uh, we have uh, another nice weekend coming up, it looks like, behind it. At least that's the early look. But right now we're in the uh, shorter term, of course. We have the showers that we're going to be dealing with, and the thunderstorms may be coming in later in the day. Here's the showers this morning moving from west to east, and then the thunderstorms moving in uh, maybe later, late this afternoon across the north central PA area, and then moving southeastward uh, during the course of the evening before they finally dissipate. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for July 7th, 2017. Have a great Friday, and don't forget I will not have another daily forecast video until Monday the 17th of July. Take care.